Good morning, everyone, and welcome to FLAIA's Real Estate Direct Lending and Private Debt Forum, Day 2. This is our third event in the series. Part 4 will be on June 23rd and 24th, and Part 5 will be on July 16th in New York City. We had a great day yesterday. We hope that you will enjoy Day 2 of this event as well. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank our sponsors. Uh, Prequin, Apex Investment Partners, Millennium Trust, Intrust Global, and Off the Chain Capital. For those of you who are not familiar with FIA, just a brief overview. Uh, FIA is a 501c6 nonprofit organization that was started in 2007 uh, with the goal of becoming the world's leading marketplace for alternative investments and alternative investment education. Um, since then, FIA has helped thousands of firms in the capital raising process, has aided in the allocations of billions to alternative investments, and we've leveraged technology to accelerate the due diligence process. Today, FLY as an organization has over 1,000 members with over $1 trillion in discretionary AUM. Once again, we'd like to thank you for joining us for day two of our event. Enjoy the day. The first panel this morning is the, uh, by Michael Forcelli, chairman and founder of FLY. Uh, the panel is on digital solutions amid a global pandemic. Uh, Michael? Thanks, Rain. Um, it's not a panel. It's, uh, I'm speaking today on uh, some solutions for you all to consider when thinking about doing due diligence and um, thinking about doing the actual marketing um, of your deal, your opportunity. Um, as Rainford mentioned, I'm the chairman and founder of FLYA and, um, you know, a little bit about, um, myself. Uh, so I was born and raised in Providence, Rhode Island. I come from a, uh, real estate family background, uh, and construction business. Uh, the picture on the left is my, my first job. I started working for the family business at a very young age and working in, um, you know, the, the real estate space. My, my grandfather started to buy uh, multi, multifamily residential in, in the 50s. And um, I started sweeping floors um, of some of those, those assets in the 80s. And you can see... Um, behind me in the picture on the left uh, is an Apple IIc computer. So I was always fascinated uh, with computers from day one and um, still to this day. On, on the right hand side, that's me, my, my wife, um, my son, and former Governor Rick Scott. Um, and he, today he's a senator. Um, and I'll, I'll go into that story here. So I, I left Rhode Island and um, at 18 years old, went to university in Miami. Uh, I wanted to stay in Florida. So I went to work uh, in wealth management. That was really the, the only serious opportunities available uh, to, to stay in Florida at that time. Um, I went to work for UBS as a, as a private wealth manager. And um, while working at, at the firm, um, I, I, I basically covered family offices uh, representing, representing the firm. And in covering family offices, I got to know a lot of people at a very young age and had to get exposure uh, to, you know, to building these relationships. So, I walked in the door with the mindset of how can I add value to, you know, this A-list client um, when, um, you know, I was, I was under 25 years old. So um, I had to be very crisp and, and clean. I got a lot of exposure to uh, investment banking transactions. And then being in Florida, you get a lot of exposure to uh, developers, people who are buying land. So, that's sort of the progression. In, in 2006, I started Alexander Alternative Capital Global Macroeconomic Hedge Fund that had a position in view at the time. 
that the fundamentals in real estate had gotten ahead of um, that the prices got ahead of the fundamentals. So um, I started that firm and begin to, to work for the next three years on uh, a short position uh, ag against the, the real estate market to hedge the developer and uh, land acquisition clients that I had. Um, in 2007, I, I, I founded Flya. Uh, you know, we, we started, um, you know, in, in 2007 in, in June. Um, and that's what really accelerated my uh, network and the relationships, which are, are really global today. Um, then the financial crisis came. It wasn't the best time to start a financial company, but as many of you know, um, when you learn how to um, you know, live inside of challenges, uh, they, it makes you stronger. Um, so in 2009, when everybody was looking for capital, I realized that the Florida State Pension Fund had never allocated, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, my space. So I organized a group of people to to change that, and uh, worked, you know, with various stakeholders inside of the, the Florida government and inside of the uh, state board of administration to to sponsor a piece of legislation uh, to really expand. Um, the allocation to alternatives, it freed up roughly uh, $16 billion of capital, uh, which was very nice. And I, I, I was telling a story to um, a, a gentleman from Texas, uh, Carlson Capital. They had the foresight and vision to become the first members of FLIA uh, on the, the investment management and the asset management side. At the time, uh, Clint Carlson was running roughly $20 billion in a multi-strat hedge fund. Um, and he took a chance with us and he became a member and I'm grateful for that. But Flya has been attracting really world-class members since the very beginning, um, the early, early days. And, you know, we were able to attract, uh, you know, Mitsubishi um, Bank uh, as our service provider member and, um, we were thinking about all of this and MIT investment management company called us and said, Hey, we want to meet with alternative investment managers. Can you help us do it? We feel that certain geographies, we don't have those relationships and we would like to access those relationships with you and really get a, a you know, a good understanding and feel for who's down there and who, who we can meet uh, through you. And I said, absolutely, I'm happy to arrange that. So we started uh, to basically put people together. So today, an organization that started in Florida, it's grown all over the world. And this map here, it's a density map. So in, in the regions where there's dark blue, that means there's higher participation, there's higher membership, uh, the, the light blue, is, is lower, but we have members in 50 states and a lot of countries all, all over the world. If the map looks funny, it's, it's not, it's actually, you know, if you look really closely, it's just highlighted and it's, it's white. And that's because we don't have any members in, in that particular country. So um, I believe there's only one or two places in South America where we don't have members. Um, my my wife's country, actually, we don't have any members in, from Bolivia, which uh, we should change, change that. Um, but the organization, it's grown uh, to many countries all over the world. And um, we've helped to uh, aid in the allocation process of billions of dollars to alternative investments. Uh, we've been able to leverage technology that we built with MIT's investment management company and 2010 uh, to accelerate the due diligence process. And we've helped thousands of, of firms in, in raising capital and investors in finding good firms to put money into. And uh, it's about creating a healthy ecosystem of best of breed service providers and best of breed investors and, and best of breed money managers slash business opportunities 
Um, our organization has hosted over 200 traditional events and we've served as a, as a trusted partner to, to many you know, of the world's top firms. Uh, th this slide right here uh, goes over you know, who our members are and what types of classifications they come from. Um, unlike other organizations, I'm very proud that we don't cater to one specific group of investors. We have sovereign wealth funds and we have individuals who are worth over a hundred million dollars of liquid investable assets. And that's been our, that's been our MO since the very beginning is we're not going to be just RIAs or we're not going to just be family office clubs. What we really do is allow the deal to attract the investor and we provide a, a transparent platform in, in which information can be shared and uh, introductions can be made. So how does the system break down from buyers um, and, and like investors to general partners? Over 50% of our organization is on the buy side of, of the equation. And one third is their organizations that, that basically are, are looking to raise capital. And 15% are the service providers that support the ecosystem and make it work really well. So. Here we go. So we've built a systematic approach to successful private investing and have acted as a trusted intermediary for some of the world's top investors. I mean, this process, it, it happened uh, in a harmonious way, but it happened because we had an investor coming to us, asking us to meet with general partners of different types of investment strategies. So what's come from that one event is we've built a marketplace for alternative investments and that marketplace is located at marketplace.flyer.org. I highly suggest you hang on one second. I'm getting some feedback here. So the marketplace is at marketplace.flyer.org. And um, if you haven't registered for it, I suggest that you register on, on the marketplace, um, you know, and I, I, I hope that you browse around, take a look at the different listings. And then if you're on, if you're on the sell side, um, you know, reach out to us and get listed on the marketplace. Um, but our organization is also in the digital event business. Um, this is a five part series that we're hosting uh, today. And that five part series um, did not exist uh, three, three months ago. We, we used to host this as a traditional event um, for the past three years, twice a year, once in New York, once in Miami. So when we were thinking about it, and we had been embracing the digital side of this business, we had already decided uh, at the beginning of January, within the first seven to 10 days of January, to turn this real estate event into a, this traditional real estate event into a digital event. And we successfully, we successfully did that. Um, the first event had a thousand uh, re registered participants the second one had over 2000 and i believe believe as of now um we'll have over 3000 my my goal was to have 4000 uh people registered to attend you know the days not over um but we have um digital events and then we white label educational webcasts for alternative investments 
So our, our members uh, can come in, do a one hour webcast on a specific educational topic in the alternative investment space. And then the investors that are interested in the topic can basically tune in and learn from people that are in the field. They can learn how to uh, adapt uh, in, inside of conversations that they have going on with other general partners. They can learn how to, uh, you know, what the market's saying, what the market's doing. Uh, they can get a, an additional opinion from somebody in the, in the space. And that's why digitally um, investors from all over the world in all sizes are coming to our platform, not only to participate in the digital events, but to learn from our managers about specific alternative investment, uh, you know, styles and strategies and to get current what, what the experts are doing. Uh, and, and, you know, not, not saying that people are not, uh, you know, smart enough to figure it out on their own, but if you're myopically focused on one particular part of the business, uh, you know, y your information, yeah. Uh, teens tends to, to be a lot more crisp, but a lot, you know, a, a lot more timely. Um, so these speaking opportunities are principals, top level key decision makers, speaking to other principals, top level uh, key decision makers. We've put together an absolutely phenomenal lineup of both educational webcasts, traditional conferences, and our, our digital events. And, you know, this whole process is to help facilitate and make easier, uh, you know, both the marketing side for the general partners to find investors and for the investors to really be able to uh, em em embrace uh, doing their, their work inside of, of our marketplace. And um, I have roughly uh, six minutes left. So our, our marketplace will uh, accelerate and speed up your investment strategy. It, it is an open marketplace. So I, 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 this isn't, um, you know, we're not just pushing one product. Uh, you know, this isn't Dean Witter in the 80s where, you know, they have uh, 100 mutual funds and, you know, every, every one that they create is the best one for you. Uh, our marketplace is open. You can list on our marketplace if you want. Um, our content's all delivered in a mobile-friendly way. People access it from podcasts, through YouTube, through our website, through reading text transcript. Um, but we, we have built out an automated matching system based on your user preferences, and we're in the process of rolling out uh, a profile. Many of you have signed up and registered to attend this event, received a, a, a profile, and pr pretty, pretty soon that profile uh, will, will um, allow you to register for future upcoming events without having to fill out uh, you know, a, a long uh, profile each time you join us. Um, so the content that we have is curated investment and ideas that delivered on time um, and they're delivered to you in your, your convenience. Um, and it gives you the ability to invest direct into funds, direct into, into deals, or choose some of our advisors that help to, you know, work with you and facilitate this process. Um, so we're in the illiquid space today dealing with real estate, um, dealing with direct lending and private debt, but we, our organization at one time was 100% hedge funds. Today, it's less than 4% hedge funds. So we have a very diverse group. Um, here's an example of our marketplace and one of the educational webcasts that we hosted. Um, when you do a webcast, your, your webcast gets uh, put up into the marketplace. The marketplace is secure. So these are the two past events that I was talking to you about earlier. Th 
his his two events that are coming up um june 23rd and 24th which will be the next one if you haven't registered you'll be getting a link from jeremy uh or jeff right now uh to register we also have uh the july 16th event we're gonna live broadcast fr from new york city with our uh panelists and uh keynote presenters um that that will uh be live together but but no audience and if the conditions don't permit for that we'll simply go into um you know we'll, we'll simply go into the same format that we have now um if they do permit and we're able to pull this off um we will do live video recording from there and you know i don't know it'll, it'll feel good it'll be a sign that of normalization so my my hope is there but obviously, you know, I can't say for sure. Um, one point that does bring up, we've done 200, over 200 events, and we've never canceled one in all of our history. Uh, so we have Boomerang Capital Partners on June 26th. They're doing a uh, live, uh, they're doing a live web, webcast on hard money lending. Um, please register for that. And... The platform handles everything from AML, KYC. This is back to the marketplace. Um, it, you know, it does FINRA compliance. You can put an NDA in there. Um, it's fully customizable. I highly encourage you to use it. Um, here's some data on, on that webcast that I was talking about. Um, and... I'm about to run out of time. So um, I want to thank all of our, our members of FLYA and uh, the team. And I want to especially thank you, uh, the, the participants in, in this, uh, this series. Uh, we have a lot of people coming back. Um, we have people uh, staying on for the en entire, entire day. Um, that's great. We want to continue to... Uh, provide you world-class uh, information um, and from the eyes of you know all the stakeholders we don't want to just have a one-sided uh, market to attract eyeballs we want to have a well-rounded uh, ecosystem and that's been our goal since um, since inception um, so I'm out of time uh, I'm going to ask Rainford to, uh, to take over here and, um, you know, basically go through uh, the next couple of slides and to uh, also introduce the, uh, the, the, the panel uh, that's, that's coming up at, at 1030. So um, thank you all uh, for uh, tuning in and I'm going to turn it over to Rain. Thank you, Michael.